क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द टू ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज एनी लुब्रिकेंट शुड हैव एंड दैट इज फ्लैश पॉइंट एंड फायर पॉइंट these are the properties which we should know before putting the lubricant into any machine or applying the lubricant into any lubricating machine flash points and fire points are very important and we'll see them in detail in today's session so now what exactly are flash points or fire points we'll start first with flash points now whenever we use oil we all know that oil supports combustion and at times oil itself is combustible oil is a substance that will support combustion and itself is combustible so over here whenever we use a lubricating oils inside the machines we need to make sure that whether that oil works at that particular temperature there are machines which work at hundreds of degrees celsius and there are certain machines that even work at thousands degrees celsius we need to make sure that the oils remain stable because oils can absorb heat energy very quickly so over here to get that we have two points the first one is a flash point flash point is nothing but the temperature at which the oil gives off enough vapors so that if i put a fire besides it the oil itself will ignite that means the oil is at such temperatures that if it catches fire it will ignite itself into the fire that is known as flash point and so we need to make sure that whenever we are using our lubricating oils those lubricating oils are much below the flash point the second is the fire point fire point is that point in temperature at which the oil gives out enough vapors that when a flame is brought near it it will ignite into a small flame for at least 5 seconds so flash point and fire point fire points are generally higher in temperature than flash points because flash points will just ignite themselves but fire points will not only ignite themselves but also stay in the form of a flame for at least 5 seconds and will stay in the form of a flame for at least 5 seconds now both of these points flash points and fire points are extremely important for us to know if we do not know the flash point of an oil and we pour that oil into a machine which works at very high temperatures it will easily catch fire if it is at the flash point if we do not know the fire point of a machine it will not only catch fire but also stay in the state of the fire till the temperature goes down and both of these are very hazardous they may actually explode the entire machine not only the machine parts but the entire machine can get devastated if we do not know the flash point and the fire point of the oils we are using these oils on a daily basis now the machines which work at 100 degree celsius may go up to 110 degree celsius if the load is high and that is the reason why we need to use the oils which do not have the flash points or fire points between 100 to 110 we need to use those oils whose these points are much higher than the temperature of the machine that is working in So, for example, my machine is working at hundred degrees Celsius. The temperature may increase to hundred and ten or hundred and twenty degrees Celsius in certain days, depending on the temperature of the atmosphere around it or the load which is given into the machine. And so, the oil which I'm using should be around two hundred, two fifty, three hundred degrees Celsius for the flash points and fire points. It should not be inside the range of the machines as well. So, now how can we calculate the flash point or the fire point? so for different lubricating oils the flash points and the fire points have already been calculated using the pensky martin apparatus in this apparatus we increase the temperature and then we test different oils at various temperatures and then we see very accurately at what particular temperature that particular oil started getting converted into the fire form of it and that is the flash point then we saw at what temperature it remained in the fire form for at least 5 seconds and that was the fire point it is very important for us to know the flash points and the fire points let us see the significance of the flash points and the fire points the first significance is the safety of the machine it's very hazardous to use an oil which has a lower flash point than the temperature of the machine it can easily get exploded we use lubricating materials not as one or two drops we actually spread those lubricating materials in various parts of the machine 
and if all those parts catch fire not only the machine but also the products will get affected so the first thing is it should not be hazardous to the machine plus there can be human intervention in the machines as well because of this fire there is no safety for the humans as well the next significance is for the transportation of it if i am carrying an oil which has a flash point of 30 degrees celsius and i'm carrying it from one state to another state and during the journey the outside temperature goes up to 45 50 degrees celsius then that entire truck can catch fire because of the oil which is present in it and thus during transportation also we need to make sure that the oil is transferred from one part to another part in such a way that the flash point and the fire point is much lower than the outside atmosphere the last and the final significance of it is it is used for identifying the contamination for it so with the help of Pensky and Martin's apparatus, I find out that oil sample A has a 45 degrees of its flash point. If I take that oil sample and I find out that instead of 45 degrees, it is now igniting at 50 degrees Celsius, that means there will be certain impurities present in it. And because of the flash point or the fire point, we can actually find out how contaminated an oil is with the impurities present in it. So in today's session, we studied about the two of the important properties of lubricants. Those are flash point and fire point. We studied why are they different and why are they so important. We also studied about the significance of the flash points and fire points and how do we calculate them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.